Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I wanted to share with you my top five <laughs> items for my Midori Traveler's Notebook. Things that I really like and I keep using, uh, not necessarily just Midori Traveler's Notebook, but uh, for my notebooks in general. So the first thing I absolutely love are my zip pouches. Now there's a several that I wanted to share. This first one here is from Stickerific. It's a denim one and it has a zip pouch in the back so you can put a lot of things. I even have like pen, pencil, some washi tape, uh, stickers, postcards, things like that. And then the other side is a nice snap closure. I don't have anything in there right now. Um, and on the other side of that has three slots for business cards and washi samples. Uh, this is very, very durable if you are looking more for long-term use. Um, so there's the denim pouch that I love. I also like using the Midori brand um, zipper pouch, which is, I believe, in here. Sorry, I'm showing you all my traveler's notebooks that I'm using. This is the Midori brand zipper pouch. It has two, one big slot here in the back and in the front. I just noticed this now, but this one is more like a shiny material and then this one in the front is like a frosted. The opposite end of that zipper pouch is just a standard zip pouch and I just keep some washi tape, washi tape samples and some stickers as well. So that's the Midori brand. I think there is another one that they have. I think it has three credit card slots. I'm not too sure. And then I have this one, another zipper pouch from Justin C. And of course I will leave all the links below to all the products that I mention. Um, this one is awesome because it has three zip, sorry, three business card holders on the front and then uh, one full length pocket in the back. So this is his website. So I really do enjoy zipper pouches. I think they're you can use them for so many things, um, especially for traveling. If I want to keep my receipts in one spot, I I utilize the zipper pouch uh, frequently. I know some people use their full size traveler's notebook as a wallet. I also have a Midori traveler's notebook folder, or sorry, a zipper pouch, uh, the plastic one in this field note size traveler's notebook and. I even keep things like band-aids, I have an extra SD card, a stencil and some stickers. I think these are really handy if you're using it more for like wallets. It's a perfect wallet size pouch. And then on the other side, and then on the other side of this zipper pouch is just a pocket here and then two credit card slots there. So that's the first thing. The second thing I really like using are pockets. The ones that stick on the Traveler's Notebook. And so far I've only used the Midori, well the Traveler's Notebook brand so I don't know, I can't really say about, say much about other brands but I have one in here. I like sticking things in in the back and they're very sturdy. I've never actually attempted to peel it off so I don't know what it's like uh, after peeling it off. I have another one in this one here I think. Yeah. And I really like this secretarial size one. Um, it has a nice slit here that I have some paper clips in. A uh, scrappy monster that I created, but I really like sticking in my writing boards, which I will mention later. It's just perfect. Um, when I go for traveling, if I travel somewhere, I'll, I'll usually take a regular size traveler's notebook and I like to stick frequently used documents in this slot. Let me just show you with this one how the writing board fits. Yeah, so it fits nicely, nice and snug. If you ma if I made it a little bit more, if I stuck it a little bit more towards the bottom, then oh, actually it doesn't stick out, so it's perfect. But no, I like um, I like this 
full length, like the secretarial pocket for these writing boards. It's perfect for that. And the stickers, of course. And I have it in this one as well. So I'm going to be interchanging my traveler's notebooks here and there. But So I have this full length one in here as well. And as you can see, it fits brochures perfectly. It's like it's the perfect size for brochures. And like I said, there's a slit here for a business card. There's a little indentation or like a little slit on the bottom here so that it's not too uh, snug. So you can definitely put a lot of things in the pocket there. So the third item I really like are clips. It can really be any clips. Um, I just usually grab whatever's on my desk. I like clips for my pages, like to keep my pages open. Uh, let's see if I can, just for example, I guess here, if I need to journal here, I, w I would use, usually use clips to just keep the pages open, really nice and simple, and then I will journal there. I know some people use like binder clips or bulldog clips, this is a bigger one, and you can actually use it as a, of course as a clip as well, but as a pen holder too. So if you have uh, let's see. So for example, if you don't have a pen loop in your on your traveler's notebook, you can easily clip it on like this and it's pretty sturdy. It's not gonna like slide anywhere. You can see it's quite strong. Um, you can always close that up and then hold it like that. And it's like a pen loop. So I do like using clips in general. I don't have a favorite type of clip or anything, uh, but I, like I said, I usually just grab whatever's on my desk. So number four are page markers. Uh, I have so many page markers, and I think the one that I really enjoy the most are the magnetic ones, like the Ollie clip. Let's see if I can show you an example. So here's an example of an Ollie clip. I had it clipped open to July. I guess I haven't used this insert since July, but um, so even like a small one like this, it holds quite a bit of paper. I really, really like big ones. Uh, the bigger Ollie clips. I have another small one here and it uh, holds my sticker sheets to the front of the page. There's another page marker that I have, the magnetic one. It's not really strong, uh, but you can just clip it to the top here and it kind of sticks out. You can see I have a couple of other page markers uh, that stick out as well. But I do really, really like the magnetic ones. There's a big magnetic one here holding my stickers. This spread, uh, the monthly spread, just kind of indicates when I publish a video or make it live. And I usually use these stickers from the Reset Girl. Yeah, the Reset Girl. And I just stick it on. It's perfect size. Um, and uh, like I said, I like to, and like I said, I like to use the bigger Ollie clips uh, as they hold a lot more pages. But even simple, like this one is a really simple page marker that I purchased from Daiso. I think it has 9 or 12 in one pack. Uh, so that's that. And then the last thing I really enjoy is my writing board. Here's the writing board I think for yeah 2014. Some people make their own using um, like you can print out your own grid line and then laminate it. I like it um, if I need to write on a flat surface for example, let's say for example, I need to write, I want to do a quote here, but I have like pieces of paper stuck on the back. Um, then I can easily put my writing board there and then it creates a nice flat surface. Also, if you're someone that likes to write on lines, the writing board provides you with a nice Maybe it's hard to catch on camera, but the writing per writing board provides you with a nice guideline uh, for straight lines instead of having to use ruled lined paper. So I do love using the writing board. I know there's several people that sell them on Etsy as well, or you can always make your own. All right, now on to three honorable mentions that I have. The first one is a folder, and 
I made my own folder a long time ago and you can easily make your own. Marianne from A Pocket Full of Vintage used to have a six six pocket folder uh, tutorial. I don't know if she, I know she took it down a while back. I'm not sure if it's back up, but if it is, of course, I'll leave a link below. But yeah, you can easily make your own and uh, you can stick in pieces of paper, stickers, receipts, things like that. I think I have another little folder in here as well. This one is from Maggie's Boutique and like, I just have pamphlets and things. And I know there's this one has uh, one pocket here and one pocket in the back as well. So this specific one is a four pocket folder. But I think there's people that have six pockets as well. So that's my first honorable mention. The second one uh, will have to probably be stencils. I think I have one in the front here. I love my Hobonichi stencil very much. I use it a lot for these check boxes. Um, I have an extra one in my pocket zipper pouch here. I even have band-aids, <laughs> some other stickers, but I really like my Hobonichi stencil. There's one from Daiso as well um, that I can use for lettering for like if I want to journal or things like that. Um, this one's from Daiso. Sorry, my other camera died, so I have to use this one. Hopefully it's okay. My third and last honorable mention would have to be bookmarks and charms. The ones I have here are from Willow Muck, Sarah Jean. They're so pretty. Like, I just love the different colors of the beads. Uh, these ones are the leather monkey fist bookmarks that I created in my shop. Um, I have a couple here on this one as well. And also, this one is from the Opal Wild, I think. But it's so pretty. Hopefully you can see like the gold tassel and the wooden beads. Uh, yeah, and this, this is also leather, I think, um, this part here. But it's so pretty. I also like to hang them not on all bookmarks, uh, not on all notebooks, but uh, this one in particular, the Midori Traveler's Notebook, I just have some hanging in the front. And I also like the sound of like the <laughs> it makes. This one is from Two Cups Travel on Instagram. Her mother actually made this beautiful charm I have hanging here. Uh, this charm I have, I attached it to the front. It's kind of getting tangled but um, this one is from D. I'll post her information, uh, Instagram information down below but yeah I just like charms and bookmarks it just adds a little bit of color, pop of color to the notebook. I don't have it, I don't have um, like these type of charms on all of my notebooks but there's I usually have some kind of bookmark. Um, these ones actually are just hanging from the bottom more of like a decoration type of thing Whereas these not bookmarks are more for function, um, it kind of tells me where I need to go. So those were my top five and three honorable mentions for must-have items for my Traveler's Notebook. I hope you enjoyed watching. I would love to hear what your some of your favorite items are. Please do leave a comment down below. I love reading all of your comments. I just want to say thank you so very much to my subscribers. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed already, please feel free to do so. I like to do journal with me type of videos in my Midori Traveler's Notebook. I do Hobonichi, Techo flip throughs here and there. Sometimes I'll do some DIY things as well. Uh, for upcoming videos, I have filmed a series, like a travel journal series. I went uh, traveling to Hokkaido, which is northern Japan, and I wanted to share my trip with you. So stay, f stay tuned for that. Uh, anyways, this video has gone long enough. I wanted to say thank you so very much for stopping by, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.